Welcome to part 11 of refurbishing a vintage model steamboat and this one is called finding a suitable gas burner. There are many gas burners available for model steam boilers. I personally do not like the ceramic type. Yes I know that ceramic burners are very popular and possibly the most used but they do have a bit of a disadvantage and the main one is the howling noise down the flue. It's very easy to set up a resonant frequency until the gas pressure drops at least, it makes a noise like an organ pipe. I much prefer this type, this is an external blow lamp. And this is a very old blow lamp, it's a gas blow lamp, and I think at one time it was probably fitted to a propane torch. But this type of burner is just the job. I'm taking the cover off to show you how it's put together. And to show you the fact that if you don't have the cover on, the flame blows off the head. The point being, that this is a much better system for me because you can clearly see the strength of the flame and also they breathe better. One of the main problems with ceramic burners is getting enough air into the actual burner area. I think it's termed the secondary air. Model steam boilers fitted with ceramic burners often emit a really bad smell from the chimney. It's definitely a sign of incomplete combustion of the gas. On screen at the moment is another type of burner once again, this is of the blow lamp type, but it's not quite as powerful as the previous one. And it's very unstable. If I blow at it, the flame will leave the end of the nozzle. Even with ceramic burners in a boiler, if it's a windy day, they would often blow out if the wind caught the chimney. This is a proprietary burner. Again, it's the blow lamp type, but it comes with a ring that allows you to mount it in the flue tube of the boiler, and it goes out very easily. Also with this burner, when it manages to stay lit, it doesn't seem to give very much heat out. A good way of testing the heat from the burner is to just quickly run your hand over the chimney and you'll get the general idea, but don't hold your hand there for very long. At this point, I'd better mention that I do not normally put a flame into a boiler that does not have any water in it. But thankfully, I am not entirely stupid. So before anybody writes in, saying, you're doing that wrong, yes I know about this, but it's only for a few seconds and it doesn't give enough heat to do any damage. The good thing about the burner I'm going to use, which is this old one, is that it's a bit of a period piece. This was the usual method of firing a model steam boiler with a centre flue in the old days, using a petrol or paraffin burner, but now we have gas and it's much more convenient. This gas canister is too big, it's just one I'm using as a test. It fits in place in the boat, and I was hoping to mount the entire assembly on a fancy holder fastened to the boiler, but the problem I have is I cannot then get the boiler into the boat, so this gas canister is going to be mounted on a separate support fastened to the hull. I'm currently awaiting delivery of some gas canisters that are the right size, then I will make a suitable mounting. In this clip I'm just checking that the boiler is in the correct position on the mounting base to bolt it into the boat because I have to put the superstructure on to make sure that it clears the inner funnel. And thankfully my measurements were correct and it fits perfectly. Here's the superstructure going in place. It locates on four lugs on the main superstructure and two at the back. And it's pretty good, it's quite a nice fit. What is going to be tricky is aligning the fitting over the safety valve, which in turn connects to a pipe that's attached to the chimney on the superstructure. So when the safety valve does blow off, all the steam goes up this separate pipe attached to the superstructure instead of filling the boat with steam. I've been doing a little bit of shopping here. I went up to Blackgates and bought a pressure gauge and some bits of metal. And also I bought this really nice little radio controlled gas shutoff valve from a company called Clevedon Steam www.clevedonsteam.co.uk And just like Blackgates, I do not have anything to do with either of these companies financially or any other way, other than being a satisfied customer. This nice little gas shutoff valve is complete with a mounting bracket, which is very useful. It allows you to mount it near the servo to cut off the gas should the boiler run dry. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful.